morning everyone thank you for showing up today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed please do click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video a very sad story a 19 years old uni Ilorin student commits suicide after losing 300 million to forex his family just confirmed this a 300 level student of the department of agriculture university of Ilorin, bringer favor or lawyer at Kambi, has committed suicide after he was allegedly duped by a forex trader essica Chukwetem Gospel. Family sources told the reporters today that Olaoye Akambi was discovered dead on Sunday after drinking poison. The 19 years old student was said to have invested over 300 million belonging to his colleagues and friends in a business run by Esika. A friend of the deceased and an investor with the firm explained how they were duped. He said that the investment is forex, and uh, the guy's name is Essica Chukwitem Gospel. That they started this investment together, like this year, it was actually this year, 2020, they started the investment together. And it seemed he stopped trading so he turned indirectly to a Ponzi scheme without the knowledge of those investing. That's too bad. Wow. He has a particular group. Most people in that group collected money from other people to invest in his business. The late winger collected money from different people to invest with Essica at a certain percentage. Lots of people... He had collected money from them and with the intention to pay back if the money yields interest from the forex, which he was actually trading. But later on, the investment crashed and the guy was arrested. With the help of some senior police officer officers, he was also released. So over time, people that were with um, the Essica guy investors... They had borrowed money to invest. So lots of people in this business had actually borrowed money to invest in this um, forex trading. They are now being pressurized to repay the loan which they had borrowed from people. He said, and one of the investors too were under a lot of pressure to pay up. And I saw the thing that because of this guy's age, he is just 19 years old. He couldn't withstand the pressure and he had to commit suicide. So a lot of people that he borrowed this money from, they were now pressurizing him to pay back, you know. And the, he, he's just um, a teenager. He's just, still, he's just 19 years old. What would you expect? He's now working. This is where he invested all this money, thinking it was going to yield a kind of interest or profit for him to actually pay back every other person he had collected this money from. And as such, a cosmate of the disease said that he assured them that Forex is not a Ponzi scheme and that he had back up funds, much enough to pay every one of his investors their capital and profit, even if things went wrong. However, it's so sad. And he said, I have over 5 million investment deal with him. He claimed to be the one doing the trading initially. But then the problem started around June, that's 2020. He started mentioning one Essica Chukotem gospel as his boss. He told his classmates, his classmates that they were arrested together, but that their money was safe with him, the Essica guy. He later promised to pay everyone's capital before December. This is what his cosmate is actually saying now. And the cosmate are even surprised that they saw pictures of Winga written, rest in peace. Everybody was actually very shocked because Winga was optimistic. He, 
he had so much hope that this investment was going to yield and the Ezekiel guy gave them hope that yes despite the fact that they were all locked up the money is still safe he still had money to give well, unfortunately he didn't provide any money for Wenger to be able to pay up his debts oh it's a pity may the soul of Wenger rest in perfect peace well I think it's a lesson for everybody Ponzi scheme, sometimes you wouldn't know. It's very tricky. And it will come in a form that you think, oh, there's money coming up or there's lots of interest. They'll come with sweet mouth, sweet talk, and you'll be carried away. Before you know what's happening, you clear your whole account and you now start borrowing money from people. Sometimes you don't even know when you do these things because money can carry people away and you would start doing things that you never thought you would do. So please, everyone should be careful. Be careful with the kind of business you venture into. Be sure of the source. Find mm -hmm. out very well. Make more inquiries before you actually venture into any kind of business. Because these days, things have gone so bad in the economy. Especially with the pandemic too. Lots of families are trying to struggle. Lots of people are trying to make ends meet. So people will come up with different scheme of making money. And, you know, in order to for you to... To have a livelihood, you now want to get involved into one of these um, businesses. So please, let's all be very careful and be watchful as well. Don't just delve into any kind of business you hear people getting involved into. Make more inquiries. Get more details and facts and be sure it's real. Be sure it has its name, business name, foundation. Every day, a lot of things to really find out and be sure that a business is real. Thank you, friends, for coming up today. Please, for those of you that have not subscribed, do click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. God bless you all.